Evening breeders, well tomorrow's our final race, the 350 from Irwin, North Carolina. Firstly let me just say it's been a lot of fun flying your birds, I've enjoyed this. I'm actually really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of birds that are very close in the average speed so it's going to be fun to see which one, you know, which one comes out on top. Um, if you get a chance, go in and uh, if you'd like to support the race again next year, we have set it up already that you can go in and sign up and we've got a few exciting changes we've made for next year that I think you guys are going to like. Just a few things that we tweaked a little bit. I'm just going to basket a few more birds here. start with this is Jared Jurdy's bird it was the first bird to trap won the 275 first one in the clock um, last week it's a very nice cock a beautiful blue bar full wing feels really really good and uh, that bird won him a television set so I'm sure he's quite happy about that congratulations to you Jared good luck to you tomorrow This is a red text bird, a Don Conexla out of Texas, beautiful little silver, very very nice bird. Um, Don's got some excellent pigeons and has done well in the past, very well. Bird feels fantastic. ARPU19193 beautiful little blue bar hen um, I believe this is Cripple Creek Loft Kirby Harold I call these the chocolate blue bars kind of got a brown bar on them very very nice pigeon feels fantastic in the hand nice full wing yeah I think it'll be in good shape Hutchins 63, this is Danny Hutchins' bird, a beautiful blue bar splash hen, lovely white flight, just a lovely little pigeon, very nice in the hand, feels really, really good. Well, breeders, I'm going to carry on here, I just want to let you know the weather tomorrow at release, I believe is southeast, um, about 3 to 4 miles an hour, they've got an east wind, I believe, most of the way until they hit about the 120 mile mark out, so for about 200 and something miles should be east wind. From Savannah, Georgia, it shifts a little bit more to a um, east, northeast, and then right at home, yeah, I think it's going to be possibly a north, northeast, but the wind's no more than about six miles an hour. So it could be tough the first 200 miles of the race, and then it will lessen up a little from there, but we'll see. Anytime young birds go 350, it's a tough race. Good luck to you guys, and uh, let's see who wins that Hawaiian vacation.